mean, I wanted to do steeplechase because I had <clears throat> I'd done hurdle events in high school, like 400 hurdles, and then got here and started running cross country and doing more distance races. And, you know, it's a combination of hurdles and cross country. So I thought, I, you know, taking a crack at it would work out. And, you know, all week I've been working with our uh, great coaching staff, you know, been running me through uh, everything I need to know uh, for the event. And I think the most important thing is they believe that I could do well because um, that's really like that gave me the good, uh, the best mindset possible going into the race. Because like if you know my coaches believed I could do well, why can't I do well? And then uh, throughout the race, I just you know kept telling myself you know who wants it the most, and just kept pushing and ended up with a pretty good time. Uh, yeah, I mean little three, I think it, I think it's one of the coolest things uh, we do you know as a track team. You know taking two of the the teams that we're very competitive with in our conference and just only running against them is a lot of fun and you know it's got such a great history to it that makes it much more meaningful you know, to, and competitive I think to everyone that's in it and um, even like you know going forward uh, not all the invitationals we go to have teams from the conference so being able to <clears throat> come to this meet today and you know beat two of the the good teams in our conference really uh, gives us a positive outlook for the rest of the season. It gives us a lot of confidence uh, going forward because, I mean, everybody just had great days today and I think it's going to you know, pay dividends for the rest of the season. Just everybody wants the best for you know, the other guy on the team. So, you know, we're going to go to practice every day and push, uh, push, each, push each other as hard as we can uh, so that each person can really reach their potential. And then when we get in the races, it's just, you know, everybody just does what they have to do and if you know somebody beats me in that race, but they have a great race, I'm happy for them. You know, I beat someone else and I have a good race. You know, I'm happy, and they're they're usually pretty positive for me as well. You know, and I think it's just it's a really nice thing to have on a team. You know, just a lot of guys, you know, with talent who are very who can just work with each other uh, day in day out. It's just a really good atmosphere to have. Um, I think a lot of our key strengths moving forward, we got a lot of great jumpers, especially <clears throat> freshman jumpers like uh, Corey, our high jumper, and Fred, one of our triple jumpers, are just outstanding uh, kids in their first year doing it. Um, I mean, I think we have a lot of depth uh, in sprints and distance, and as the season goes on and they really get into their groove, you know, I think we're just going to be uh, successful in every area we can uh, really put our minds to on the track. So. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's hard to pinpoint one area, uh, I think, where we'll have a strength, where I think just general uh, strength of the team is going to be our best bet going forward. I think the um, win today on the men's side is definitely a motivating factor for us. Um, we've been trying to build off of positivity. Coach Shank really in reinforces a positive mindset as crucial to um, performing to one's best. And I think this is just something that's going to set the ball rolling for the rest of the season. We had a strong showing at Elizabethtown the week before. Today we had better conditions, a home competition. For like a lot of people from our like families and close friends from school came out to see us, and we really stepped up and performed to the best of our ability, and we're going to continue improving. I know that. Um, our team definitely wants to be in the first um, top of the conference. Obviously, some teams like Johns Hopkins has an enormous, very competitive team, which w will be a challenge. But as for Gettysburg, this um, little three kind of reflects that we can step it up at um, conference meets. We were about seventh, I think, for the men in, I want to say, seventh or eighth for the women indoor. And today, Dickinson, who displaced us by a couple spots at indoor conferences, um, was actually behind us. So I think that really bodes well for how we're going to perform at conferences and how we're going to perform the rest of the season. Uh, for me, uh, what makes Gettysburg track and field the most special is definitely the people. Um, I've had so many excellent coaches, so many teammates, that it's been an honor to compete alongside. Um, I have loved my relay teammates today with the 4x4. Four four. It was excellent, well, probably my favorite event. Um, working alongside Coach Scott, um, working on my form. I remember last season I spent day after day like we're just working on like my arms to get them and to get them like just right. And that really just helped my overall racing so much. Coach Shanks always been there, really supportive. Coach Hartzler has done excellent stuff with the weight program and all the other coaches too. I've had positive experiences with um, coaches who even aren't, aren't even in my event group, but the throwing coaches are always like warm, open, and just the coaching staff's kind in general, and the team bonding community is really, I think, 
key to our success is how close, close knit of a team we are and how well we support one another, both at the meets and in between meets when we're training to do the best we possibly can.